हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माय चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस टुडे आई एम शोइंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस वेरी ब्यूटीफुल डेकोपॉज वुडन सर्विंग ट्रे विथ लॉट्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स सो आई शो यू स्टेंसलिंग स्टैम्पिंग डेकोपॉजिंग एवरीथिंग इन दिस वन ट्यूटोरियल सो स्टे टिल एंड एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर दिस वी नीड any stencil one wooden tray mod podge some chalk paints white gesso some paint brushes and any deco podge paper first i'm taking this wooden alterable tray which is from itsy bitsy so i'm just opening this packaging now i am taking this white gesso which is from little birdie this is a brand of itsy bitsy itself now i am just primering the base using this white gesso allow it to dry for some time now i'm taking this decoupage paper tissue and using the wet brush i'm applying it on the paper on the part which i am using today so don't tear it using your fingers just apply this wet brush it will automatically get teared easily like this now we have to remove two layers from this and we just need topmost layer like this now take back your tray and i will take up all this part using my paper so i'm using the mod podge glue applying little glue on the base using my brush now take this paper and slowly align it with the corner of the tray and don't push it using brush you have to handle it very carefully and start pasting it using your fingers very slowly otherwise the wrinkles will come and your decoupage work will not look good it should be smooth and finished like this in the same way i will decorate other corner so after applying on both the corners it will look like this now i am taking deep sea blue chalk paint this is a matte chalk paint from little birdie and i am coloring all the edges and sides of the tray using the same chalk paint
also i am applying this chalk paint on inner part of the tray so after coloring whole tray it will look like this now i am taking little sap green and brown acrylic color on poly bag and after mixing little water in it i am just dabbing the color along with the design on the tray so that our design will mixed with the tray pattern and it will not look like we have added the decoupage paper the design should be universe on whole base of the tree so i'm just mixing the decoupage pattern with the tree using these colors also using some white gesso in between in the same way i will do from all sides so after applying it see everything is looking like a one single piece now i'm taking this mandala pattern stencil this is from i craft and i'm just applying this stencil in the center of the tray and using this sailing sky chalk paint I will create the pattern on the tray. So just take a little color on the poly bag or your mixing tray. Just dab the excess color. And for this technique, your brush should be dry. It should not be wet otherwise it will not work. Now just tap 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 on the stencil all over the design. and if required you can take color in between so cover this whole stencil and pull it slowly like this see how beautifully it has created the design on the tray in the same way i am creating the pattern on the edges or sides of the tray like this in the same way i have added pattern randomly on the tray so this is done now i am taking this script stamp from mudra and using cobalt blue archival ink i am stamping the script here and there randomly on the tray to give the vintage look 
I'm using archival ink because the archival inks are waterproof and while applying the varnish it will not get diluted so you should use any kind of permanent ink The scripted pattern will look like this. Now again I am taking my Mod Podge glue and I am just varnishing my whole design. So it will seal all the work we have done. So you have to color whole tray using the same Mod Podge. You can also use wood varnish. So after varnishing and drying, our tray is ready for use. Isn't it very pretty and attractive and very easy to make? So my project is done for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.